guys, I am back with the tutorial that I said I'd make a while ago. Well, not even that long ago, it was like yesterday. Because I saw that a few of you guys were having trouble actually making announcer packs. So I went through the trouble of actually making my own. Using some stuff that I recorded myself. And I got to work. So I'm going to run you through what I did. Um, so you can see where you went wrong what you did, maybe how to fix it. So let's get right into it. So first things first, you're going to need a few different tools. These tools are going to be all in this um, link that I'm going to give you. And then since Wooksy's kind of non-existent anymore because Yeah, don't know what happened there, but Wooksy kind of doesn't exist anymore. So I will have a link for you to download Wooksy from my media fire. So, um, after downloading both of them, what you're going to want to do is, first off, you have to have your actual recorded sounds, which I did. I recorded them all. And the sounds that you will need to record will all be on this page. And all credit goes to this guy. Because I had I basically followed his tutorial on how to do it. And it worked. So and yes, this has been tested. So these are all the sounds. Out this page will also be linked in the description so you can go look at it. Um So once you make all the sounds, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to um First off, actually before I get into all that, you're going to ignore this. This doesn't work. Um, but you're going to want to copy this to your desktop. Um, this to your desktop. Um, install this. I already have it installed, but I'll just... Oh, wait, cancel. Um, totally unprofessional, I know. I kind of just left it in the zip. Okay, now I can close that. But you're going to want to install this. Oh, yeah, it also comes with instructions, but I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so put this on your desktop. Put this on your desktop. Install this. You don't have to do anything else with this. Just install it. And then you're going to want to run WPK Packer. You're going to go to WEM Converter. You're, this is the audio folder that you put all your recorded sounds in. I'm going to go to where I did. And I recorded mine in MP3 format. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Yes. I'm going to put this on my desktop. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to click Locate WI's Template. I'm going to go to my desktop. WI's Template. You're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see template.wproj. You're going to open that. Then, you wanna, then you're going to want to click um, Find That. Um, I, this is just because I have two versions of this on my desktop. It doesn't really matter which you use. You're going to want to do that. You're going to want to click bin. It's going to be right there. You're going to click OK. Or open, I mean. And then locate WY's, um, CLI. Which, after you install WY's, will be here. Here. Audio Kinetic. WY's. Authority x64 release bin and right here click open and then you're going to want to set an output folder um no no whatever i'll just create a new folder for this new folder for there do that then you're going to want to click Process Audio. 
This will probably take a while. Yeah, this takes a while. And you can't really do anything else while this is going on since the window keeps pulling that to the top. So, if you try and do anything else, that'll just be covering it. And also, do not click the window. It will freeze. So just let it do its thing. And it should be done shortly here. Possibly. Oh, yeah, it just moves back to the center. So I can't really check. But if you look under there, there is a, a bar there. It's almost done. There we go. Now that it's done, you don't want to go to the output folder that you have. Now you have a whole bunch of WIM files. Now what else you're going to want to do is you can either take... This VO um, backup, um, just take this WPK file, or if you have Wooksy already installed, you can open up Wooksy, you can click Creation Studio, File Extractors, this, 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 shared, and extract this. Now to do that, I'm going to click open WPK, I'm just going to copy it from this file, I'm going to click open, you're going to find a whole bunch of numbers and files. This part takes a while. What you're going to do is, um, oh wow, so many files open. Close that. Close that. What you want to go do is go back to this. And you see these numbers. These are what... These entries are. So entries 2 and 3 will be the ACE files. Um, and if you have multiple files, just put one... Just put like um, ACE 1 for entry 2 and ACE 2 for entry 3. But I just recorded one for each, so basically you click set WIM, go to where you um, have your WIM files, and you'd search, you'd find your ACE file, and click open, and you do that for all the other entries. And once you have that done, um, click save WPK, then you're want gonna want to go back to Wooksy. You're going to click Skins Collection, Import Skin, Add File, this, and then Open, and you will have your announcer pack. And just to show you guys that it does work again, I will um, reopen, but hold on a second. I'm just going to pause this. Actually, never mind. I don't really care if you guys have already seen it. Now, mine is really, really quiet, <laughs> because of the way my mic works, so it's going to be kind of hard to hear, but I will turn it up. Now, I'm not sure if all of these work, because I just hopped, because right, I'm just literally now doing this. What I did was, I hopped into a custom game and just... I heard the uh, Welcome to Summoner's Rift and it worked. So I'm assuming that all of them work. But prove me wrong in the comments if you want to now. Edit the video again and I'll, and I'll change it. But what you're going to hear is Welcome to Summoner's Rift in my own voice. And I, I guess for if some reason you, you want to use my announcer pack, which I don't understand why. 
I, um, I'll link it in the description. I don't know what kind of madness you are. I'm moving as fast as I can. And this time I'm actually gonna wait until the 30, 30 se seconds until minions spawn. Get ready for battle. There you go. See, it does work. So, have fun making some cool announcer packs. And if you do end up making your own, um, um, post it in the script, post it in the comments, and I'm I'll take a look at it because I like seeing all the cool announcer packs people make. But anyways, guys, this has been another cool tutorial on how to do stuff that you might not have known how to do. If you did enjoy the video, please leak a, please leak, please leave a like, um, possibly comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.